A first responder appreciation day and to celebrate, Bay Area agencies got $100,000 in grants for new equipment. Devin Feely has that story. I'm Lieutenant Dan Taylor. For actor Gary Sinise, it was the role of a lifetime. It's pretty basic here. Embodying Lieutenant Dan's swagger in Forrest Gump. I was supposed to die in the field with honor. That was my destiny. As well as his despair and his anger upon returning broken from the battlefields of Vietnam. I got the opportunity to play a Vietnam veteran in Forrest Gump, and he was a disabled veteran, so I started supporting our disabled uh, veterans. That iconic character eventually led Sinise to a very different role, far from the stage or the big screen. The Gary Sinise Foundation supports veterans and their families and first responders across the country. We do these things. We want to make sure that our first responders know how much they're appreciated, how much we care for them, how grateful we are for their you know, service every day to protect our communities. The Gary Sinise Foundation, which recently partnered with Amazon, organized a community celebration and fundraiser at the Sonoma Raceway. Some of the money that's raised will go to grants that will help firefighters buy equipment they could not otherwise afford. This adds to our uh, our toolbox, you want to say, yeah. So it's, it's, it's uh, again, very appreciative of uh, the foundation to, to put this on and, and to uh, give us the opportunity to apply for the grant and help us out. Sinise provides outreach to veterans, builds homes for disabled vets, and stages concerts with the Lieutenant Dan Ban, and says that if he can shine even a little bit of Hollywood spotlight on the true heroes, it's mission accomplished. We want to recognize the, the courage and strength and uh, selflessness of so many of our first responders, but they also take a beating.